Sairam children, welcome back and have a wonderful day. In today's class of EVS 1, we will continue with chapter number 3, Animal Shelters. Animals need shelter because they need a suitable place to survive themselves and to feed their young ones. So children, let us learn more about animals who build shelter for themselves in part 4. Before we proceed further, let's recap new words. Gusty G-U-S-T-Y Gusty Scotching S-C-O-R C-H-I-N-G Scotching Discomfort D-I-S-C-O-M-F-O-R-T Discomfort Threat T-H-R-E-A-T Threat Defend D-E-F-E-N-D Defend Twigs T W I G S Twigs String S T R I N G String Thread T H R E A D Thread Convenient C O N V E N I E N T Convenient Thorny T H O R N Y Thorny Tendril T E N D R I L Tendril Stitching S T I T C H I N G Stitching Cliff C L I F F Cliff Burrow B U R R O W Burrow Construction C O N S T R U C T I O N Construction Shelter S H E L T E R Shelter Cavins C A V E R N S Cavins Coop C O O P Coop Efforts E F F O R T S Efforts Hollow H O L L O W Hollow Now Let's go through the content outline. There are four topics in our content outline. They are Why do we need houses? Animals who build shelters for themselves? Animals that find ready shelters in the surroundings? And shelters for domestic animals. Children, we have already finished the first topic that is why do we need houses? In the last part, we have started with our second topic that is animals who build shelters for themselves. And today, we will continue with our second topic that is animals who build shelters for themselves. So children, let's continue. And try to recollect of what we have learned in the second topic of animals who build shelters for themselves. So children, we have learned that Nests are shelters that birds build. Birds are afraid of animals that eat eggs. So, they need a safe place to lay their eggs. Baby birds come out of the eggs. There are animals that eat these young birds. The young birds are too weak to defend themselves. The nest keeps the young ones safe. Birds use things like grass, straw, twigs, cotton, wool and pieces of thread and string to build their nest. 
This makes the nest soft and warm inside. But the nests of all birds are not all alike. Weaver bird chooses a thorny tree which has some branches hanging over water. It builds its nest on the highest of these branches. Animals that eat eggs find it difficult to reach this nest. Now, look at this bird children. Identify this bird. Yes, you are right. This is a picture of a tailor bird. Tailor bird is smaller than a sparrow. Tailor bird have short rounded wings, short tail and strong legs. They are typically found in open woodland, farmland and gardens. Children, tailor bird selects a plant with bigger leaves and builds its nest by stitching the leaves together. Let me repeat again. Tailor bird selects a plant with bigger leaves and builds its nest by stitching the leaves together. It uses a fine tendril to stitch them together. Now children, what do you mean by tendril? Yes, you are right. A tendril is a thin stem like part of a climbing plant that holds onto walls or other plants for support. This little nest is big enough for the little tailor bird. Now children, let me tell you again. The tailor bird is smaller than a sparrow. It selects a plant with bigger leaves and builds its nest by stitching the leaves together. It uses a fine tendril to stitch them together. This little nest is big enough for the little tailor bird. Let me repeat again. The tailor bird is smaller than a sparrow. It selects a plant with bigger leaves and builds its nest by stitching the leaves together. It uses a fine tendril to stitch them together. This little nest is big enough for the little tailor bird. Now children, like birds, there are some insects who build their own shelters. Now, identify this insect. Yes, you are right. This is a honeybee. Yes, you are right. This is a picture of a honeybee. Now, like birds, there are some insects who build their own shelters. Now children, identify this insect. Yes, you are right. This is a honeybee. This is a picture of a honeybee. Now, identify this shelter. Yes, you are right. This is a honeycomb. Who builds honeycomb? Yes, honeybees build honeycombs. Children, honeybees build their honeycombs on trees or under the roof of an overhanging cliff. So children, let me tell you again, some insects also build their own shelters. For example, honeybees build their honeycombs on trees or under the roof of an overhanging cliff. Let me repeat again, some insects also build their own shelters. For example, honeybees build their honeycombs on trees or under the roof of an overhanging cliff. Now children, 
कैन यू टेल मी द कैट इज लाइंग इन वेट फॉर सम वन हु इज दैट येस यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट इट इज अ रैट द कैट इज लाइंग इन वेट फॉर रैट Rats and mice live underground in fields. They dig into the soil and make holes and burrows to live in. Let me repeat again. Rats and mice live underground in fields. They dig into the soil and make holes and burrows to live in. Rats and mice also live in areas where people live. they make holes in the walls or under the floors in houses they mostly take shelter in mud houses and not in those built with cement that is because they cannot dig holes into cement construction now children let me tell you again rats and mice live underground in fields they dig into the soil and make holes and burrows to live in rats and mice also live in areas where people live they make holes in the walls or under the floors in houses rats and mice mostly take shelter in mud houses and not in those built with cement that is because they cannot dig holes into cement construction so children i hope you all have understood about animals who build shelters for themselves now let's do an activity question number 1 fill in the blanks with correct options given below number 1 the tailor bird is dash than a sparrow let me repeat again the tailor bird is dash than a sparrow children there are two options given below and you have to select the correct option the two options are a smaller b bigger now children identify the correct option yes you are right option a smaller is the correct answer the tailor bird is smaller than a sparrow so let us click the correct option yes the tailor bird is smaller than a sparrow next number 2 dash builds honeycomb let me repeat again dash builds honeycomb children there are two options given below they are option a tailor bird option b honey bee so children identify the correct option who builds honeycomb yes you are absolutely right option b honey bee is the correct answer so what will you do now you will click on the correct option so children let us click the correct option yes option b honey bee is the correct answer honey bee builds honeycomb next number 3 rats and mice live dash in fields there are two options given below option a underground option b above ground now children select the correct answer yes you are right option a underground underground is the correct answer rats and mice live underground in fields so now what will you do you will click the correct answer let us click yes option a underground is the correct answer 
Rats and mice live underground in fields. Now, let us proceed with second question. Select the correct option to state whether the following statements are true or false. The tailor bird selects a plant with bigger leaves. Children, there are two options given below. Option A, true. Option B, false. Now, select the correct options. Yes, option A, true, is the correct option. The tailor bird selects a plant with bigger leaves is true. So now, let us click. Yes. The tailor bird selects a plant with bigger leaves is true statement. Rats and mice dig into the soil and make designs. Children, do they make designs? No, they do not make designs. They make holes. So children, is this statement true? No, it is not true. It is false. Okay, so what will you do now? You will click on the correct option. Let us click. Yes, option B, false. Rats and mice dig into the soil and make designs is a false statement. So children, thank you very much. Today we have completed the second topic of our content outline that is animals who build shelters for themselves. In the next part we will start with our third topic that is animals that find ready shelters in the surroundings. Till then, Sairam.